hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so here i took a thick piece of cardboard and i have drawn the figure the form for the body and then i will be cutting it off and i have total two pieces from the same shape and yeah this video is going to be a little bit faster mode uh, because it was uh, otherwise going to be a one hour long video if I keep showing and telling each and every step so anyway there uh, on the one piece of the cardboard I will be drawing a line and on this line we will be going to stick the rod the pipe for the holding part for the stand so I prefer that if you use a very wide and thick piece for the stand that will be much more stability or the form and then here on another piece of cardboard I'm drawing the side parts of the body the side pose the figure shape I mean uh, like the breast and the waist so these are I'm going to cut total four pieces from this and then I will be cutting uh, one line from the middle as well just to uh, insert the other pieces of cardboard through this one so next you will see how I'm doing that here I will be drawing the line which I will be cutting it so if some people are asking me how much width and length I'm using for this I'm so sorry for that because I don't measure I'm just doing it by, with idea by idea that how long or thick pieces for the figure I need so here I will be cutting it off then I will show you the next step So this is how it looks like. I will be cutting it all pieces like this way and these are the total pieces we are going to use. Four for the side pose and two are for the front and back. Here this is how we are going to insert these pieces. By leaving the center piece empty for the rod to stick it here. Two will be coming on one part of the shoulder and the other two pieces will be coming on the other sides of the shoulder yeah for my spanish people spanish viewers i will be posting this video later on my spanish channel as well i will be putting the link in the description box please check that out and spread my channel and subscribe to my that channel as well who wants to know what i'm doing in english i will be translating in spanish as well and then i will be sticking these pieces uh, with the hot glue on the position after I did it well video is going to be a little bit faster mode because uh, if I show each and every step in slow motion it was going to be very long video so I'm sorry for that but I tried to show each and every step almost in less timing so I hope you understand what I am doing actually but anyway i will be putting more details in the description box please check that out if you want to know in more details so this is how it looks like now the frame the basic frame for the form here you can see it's standing by itself as well and i prefer if you use uh, to cut more thin waist that will be more beautiful um, I cut it a little bit fat base but it's better if you use a little bit thin one so anyway this is how it looks like for now and then I'm taking the back part for the cardboard which I'm going to stick it on the back side of the body not on the breast part it will be going for the back side I will apply the hot glue on these pieces of cardboard the standing ones and then I will stick the other piece of cardboard on back then for more stability more security more safety I will be using the tape just to give it more shape if in case the hot glue is not stick with the cardboard properly so I'm using this white paper tape to stick the pieces together on the same place so this is the rod i'm going to use this is a wood piece and mine is a little bit 
bit uh, thin less width so i prefer if you use a very wide big piece that will be more uh, strong and more stable for the form so here i'm using these cardboard pieces folding them around the road just to take the size so we can insert the pipe the road through these cardboard pieces and these cardboard pieces the rolls one i am going to stick it on the line i draw on the cardboard so here i am going to stick them with the hot glue I was using just hot glue and the masking tape to stick them on the cardboard but I prefer and I recommend seriously that if you use the white glue water mixture and the papers newspapers or craft paper to stick these pieces the rolls with the cardboard that will be more stability and more stronger instead of just hot glue and paper tape as I'm doing so this is I'm telling with my experience so I prefer if you use the white glue and newspapers to stick these rolls with the cardboard so anyway this is how it will be going through with uh, these rolls and this is how it will be holding the rod and from this piece the center part you can see here will be uh, going the line the wire for the bulb as well so this is wide enough proper so it will be holding the rod as well and the wire for the bulb will be come through for from this side as well not through the holes the rolls I made but from this part the center part and this one is going to be the front part for the body only for the figure position figure parts I'm sticking this thin piece of cardboard it's not wider or the same size of the figure I cut it before this is just a straight rectangle piece and I fold it uh, to stick it or, and give it to the shape for the figures I cut it before the breast and vest shape so this is I'm going to stick it first with the paper tape to give it the shape to hold the shape then I will be using the hot glue to stick it on the place properly So this is how you can see I have covered almost everything with the paper tape and then I left the sides empty because this is we are going to use the curvy parts of the cardboard on the sides to give it the curvy shape of the body I hope you will understand what I'm doing this is actually the quarter half of the circle these pieces of cardboard I will be sticking here just to give it the shape of the body not just the straight cardboard pieces In the same curved cardboard pieces I will be covering all the both sides for the figure and once it's done you will see what I was actually doing So this is how it looks like and this is what exactly I was doing. You can see the sides are curved. It's not straight cardboard pieces. These are curved cardboard pieces to give it uh, exact shape for the figure. And from here will be the rod prominent and the wire will be going through the, these holes as well. This piece of cardboard I have made the hole in the center for the pipe and for the wire to come through this one and I will be sticking this cardboard piece under this to close the parts.
after covering all the figure now I'm going to use this uh, craft paper with the white glue mixture this is my homemade glue paste you can use white glue Elmer's glue or anything and you can cover it with the newspaper if you don't have craft form so this is I will be covering all of this with this uh, glue and paper So for the next step, I am first time doing this that um, for cardboard furnitures, I found these wrinkles on the figure which I didn't like the finishing after using the paper. So I decided to use this speckling paste like a, a finishing for the ceramic uh, things. So I'm using this paste with a spatula to put it cover all the figure with this so it will be making it smooth and covering the wrinkles as well but that's just optional you don't have to do this uh, you can just use a simple way of papers newspaper and glue the thing i have done you don't need to do this if you don't have speckling paste that's just fine so anyway i just wanted to try for an experience so i will be covering it all with this uh, speckling paste making it smooth then I will let, let it dry completely After it's dry, I'm using this sandpaper to sand off the rough edges to make it smooth enough and then I will be coloring it with black acrylic paint to color all the sides of this figure. I'm removing this paper from the road because down it's wood one and up they are just using it for the decoration. Uh, the plastic nylon type for the different color so I'm removing it so I can color it silver color acrylic paint and for the figure I'm using black acrylic paint and for the road I will be using the silver acrylic paint So for the bottom part for the stand I'm using um, a plastic bottle top part with some uh, clay the sculptures clay you know that's a very hard clay once it's get dry it's like just like a stone um, very hard one so if you don't have this clay you can obviously use the cement in a bowl and insert the road in it to make it uh, stand enough so but for me i was not having cement i was having this clay extra so i'm using this to insert it inside the bottle and then i will uh, insert the road while the clay is wet and you will see how it's holding the road on the same time while it's wet even here you can see i inserted the road while the clay is wet and until the bottom i will be putting it and then here you can see I have left it after giving it proper shape and now it's standing so I will leave it to dry completely then I will be covering it more uh, the sides of the bottle and the rod until a little bit top of the rod with the same clay but as I said before if you don't have this you can use the cement for the for the bottom as well it's not a problem then after this I will be covering it all the plastic bottle with the glue and tissues uh, to make it strong enough and then I will be using a thick piece of cardboard as well on the sides of the bo uh, bottle for the bottom part on the sides of the bottle so it can hold it mo more properly and it can stand properly because as you know the bottle edges are not straight or uh, equal size that's why I have to use cardboard pieces for the sides 
here I will be covering all the bottle part with the glue and I will be sticking the tissues on it and I will color, color this as well with the black acrylic paint Now here you can see I have colored it and I have put this black cardboard piece also on the sides on the bottom which will be touching the floor as well of course to support the bottle and the stand and then this is a McDonald uh, cola cup which I'm using to make the neck I will be sticking it and I will be covering it also with the uh, craft paper and the glue and then I will be coloring it as well with the black acrylic paint and I made the hole so I can insert the bulb in it from the top then this is a soft piece of cardboard which I'm using to make the, uh, the head. I will be making a hole in between and I will be coloring it with the red acrylic paint. Then I'm using this black craft form to make the polka dot style for the hat. And I have prepared the basket as well. I mean the hat top part of the head. But first I will show you how I insert the bulb through this cup and from the body and then this will be coming down from the bottom here you can see and then I will be pulling it and you can see how the bulb is going up while pulling the plug down and this is how I will be sticking it on top and just leave it like this and I will just put the head on top of this instead of sticking the head over the neck and this is here I have prepared the basket shape for the head just with the paper and the piece of cardboard so I will be making the polka dots on it as well with the red acrylic paint and that's why I said I couldn't show each and every step because the video was extreme long so that's why I have to avoid these things and then I will be using this red uh, fabric to make for the belt and I will be making the dots with the black acrylic paint on it as well like polka dot style same like hat and then we are almost done um i will be just putting the hat over it and i will be not sticking the hat so we can remove the hat and we can change the bulb in case if we need so this is how it looks like now i totally loved it i hope you enjoyed the videos and i hope you understand each and every step i tried to explain so do it in your style do it in your own colors and those things and let me know send it the pictures on my social uh, platforms like Instagram or Facebook and let me know how you did it so for the Spanish channel I will, I will be putting the link in the description box please subscribe to that channel as well because it's really a hard thing for me now to run two channels in different languages so subscribe to my channel both channels now and share my videos with your family and friends thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye for now